and just for kicks as far as the extra challenge now let's also set up those buttons and let's remove the user if the button is clicked so first we want to navigate where we have the return that's why i set up the div and we're going to go with button and i'll just type remove in here we're going to go with on click and eventually we'll set up some logic for now we'll simply go and empty arrow function just so we don't have the error and i'm also going to add the class name and i'm going to say btn so that's going to be my generic button class and now let's move up and set up that functionality where essentially i'm going to call this remove user it's going to be looking for one thing and one thing only it's going to be looking for the id and as far as the logic i want to use filter again and essentially return only the items whose id does not match whatever i'm passing in so again i'm going to call this updated users and in this case i'm going to speed this up a little bit by just copying and pasting so this is going to be the same however i'm not gonna spread out values this way i know that filter returns a new one so i can simply say users and then filter and as far as the callback function i'll call this person and i'll say if the person id person id doesn't match then return if it doesn't match the id that we're passing in however if the id matches then that person is not going to be returned and of course again we set users equal to this new value and now we just navigate down here where we have the arrow function and essentially we want to go with the remove user and we'll grab the user id we'll say user dot id let's save this and now one by one i can remove them so that concludes the entire challenge hopefully everyone enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next video